Hello. I'm trying this again because YouTube is pretty annoying. Um, I'm putting some finishing touches on my Ruby Cavalier King Charles Spaniel drawing our dog Autumn. A lot of people might think that this is close to done. Um, it is a little farther from done than it might appear because I would no more go on with just one layer of fur than I would do just one layer if I was drawing a portrait with skin. It's just a different process. Instead of the many layers of sort of pressing down and burnishing that you do to create a painting like skin, these are light layers with a bit of erasing in between. Some people use this mono tombo eraser. I'm a little concerned at the, the specs I get with it. And sometimes I just like to take a regular um, eraser that is uh, cut with a, a, uh, an X-Acto blade. It seems to erase away more completely. The This creates sort of a warp and weave to the paper and the pencil seems to fall in between it creating the different colors that actually make the different hairs so it's a longer process than what you might think originally it's not just drawing a layer of hair that looks like hair. It's really getting all the under hair and the over hair and the texture of hair and all the colors of hair. I shouldn't say hair because it's fur. And then you can work into it with the slice tool which really scrapes away into it creating another bit of texture. I think you can see a little of this down here where I've done this. And it not only um, scrapes in, but it can also drag down the color. Just an interesting discovery. And again, removing that and then coming back for even some of the dark bits that fall in between. So this is sort of a long process of creating what will eventually look like very realistic hair. So I will pretty much be going over this little girl again and again to create a little more depth the fur than I already have to give it a really finished look. If you want to see the rest of my artwork, I am Lisa from lisarts.com, www.lisarts.com. I really see so much more pink in this hair that was so apricot before. It's actually the coral. And it's really giving a little depth to the um, bright colors because she's really sitting in some sunlight. Anyway, if you go to my website, you will see my artwork as well as when I'm teaching classes. And I will give you another update on post pictures when autumn is finished. Thank you very much for watching.